In this video, I want to show you an ending lick that you can use for swing and jazz tunes. It's a bit of a cliche thing, but I think adding this one gives a really professional touch to your jazz and swing performances. And this little lick, you can use it on a variety of tunes. I'm gonna, here going to show you how you can use it for blues for Ike, for It Don't Mean A Thing If You Ain't Got The Swing, or tunes like All Of Me or Fly Me To The Moon. I'm going to show how it, uh, this applies to all of these different ones. My name is Magnus Sedlon and I help mandolin players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because we have new videos like this coming out every week. Also hit that bell notification button, you'll get notified as soon as we publish a new video. And if you, for an enhanced learning experience, you can find the sheet music and tabs for this tune, for this lesson, and all the other lessons here at our YouTube channels. Also some backing tracks and uh, play along tracks. So check it out at mandolinsecrets.com forward slash academy. There you can learn more about it and get signed up today. I recently published the tune Blues for Ike. That is a, a Django Reinhardt tune, blue, 12 bar blues in the key of A. And this little lick is a very good way to finish off that one that you will add to, as a little tail to it in the very last chorus. But as I said, I'm also going to show how you can apply it to another uh, like in played in different keys and applied to a bunch of other tunes. But let's first have a listen to the Blues for Ike ending. So if you're looking in the tabs, there is four different variations. We're starting with the one in the key of A major. And it sounds like this. Yeah. And the second there is just a variation to it in the lower octave. And that is the one that I'm actually using for, for um, blues for Ike. If you listen to the, the last measure here. One thing that I want to point out straight away, for this very last note, there you can also strum a chord if you feel like. So, or maybe. Something like that, or six chord. You got options, but back to the very the basic lick here. So it's the A major scale. We're starting it on the beat number one with a downstroke here. One, two, three, four. With the tabs, I think it's pretty easy to follow along. And also know that you can you can also leave out the first note in the lick. So one, two, three, four, one. That is an option that you have. And sometimes this very first note is even played the third, as it's notated, it can also be the first note, the root note. Playing it slowly here again, we can do it with a metronome. One, two, three, four.
also doing example number two. One, two, three, four. Once more. And the way that how we connect it is kind of playing it the last bars again. So there is actually room to play the entire melody, just connect this ending lick. And I also recommend that you play this in a couple of different keys. So looking at example number three, I'm playing it in the key of B flat now. So it's a B flat major scale. And I'm now leaving the first note out in the lick, so it comes one, two, three, four, one. Or just again, one, two, three, four. And I think it's important that you're paying attention to the picking directions. Because we also, when we're bringing it up to speed, we want to get that right. And in B flat, it sounds perfect for uh, maybe you're playing it don't mean a thing. It sounds pretty good, right? So, what I'm doing there, we're going to come for. If you don't know, it don't mean a thing. Check out the tutorials. We got complete tutorials in Mandolin Secrets Academy. And the fourth example I'm showing you there, that is uh, playing the lick in the key of C. So it's C major scale. And again, starting with a rest on the first note. One, two, three, four, one. So it's the same lick, only a different key. And um, here in Madeline Secrets Academy, you got the tune All of Me, Fly Me to the Moon in the key of C. So let's say we're doing All of Me. Why don't you take all of me? Sounds good. Why don't you take all of me? So it's a very nice way to end a jazz and swing tune. And as I said, it gives a professional touch and really wraps up the whole performance in a very nice way. Yes, I just show you there in a couple of different keys and a few different song examples. But I want you to first start in the key of A major and try to apply it to blues for Ike. So stay with the A lick before going into the other ones. And a more advanced approach to it is also to learn how to play this lick in closed position. That means it will be very easy to transpose and you can play it for any tune basically. I'm showing you a little closed position fingering for this one. If you're ready to try the closed position, maybe, I'm now showing it here in the key of A major. This is box number three, if you're familiar with my way of naming the boxes. The same lick, but only with a, another fingering. We can also do it for box number one. The 
that's actually better pl played in a higher octave. Yeah, I really think the closed position is an advanced thing, so I really suggest that you start with the other ones first, and then if you want to add something to it, you can try the closed position, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary if you want to attach it to the tunes that I mentioned here. Blues for Ike, it don't mean a thing, all of me. You can do it with the fingerings and the ways that I put them into this, uh, the tabs and the notation. Okay, my friend, that's it for this lesson. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. And also, we'll be very happy to know if you leave a comments below, if you like using an ending lick like this to your jazz and swing performances, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in a new video soon. Bye for now.